Good evening, everybody. Today we're going to be going over the automatic roadblocks plugin uh, by this guy right here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name, Koreo, I'm guessing. Um, anyways, so basically here's the download page, um, all the information. Uh, click right here, download this file. It will take you to the next page where you uh, verify you're not a, uh, a robot and that you're human. You do that, and then once you download it, it will probably end up going to your download files um, on your computer. Uh, you just take it out of there. You put it onto your desktop if you, that's what you want. That's what I did. Uh, Right-click with WinRAR, extract files. It will bring you to this file. Uh, documentation. This is just going to be right here. This is uh, basically a tutorial, or this provides all the information you need for editing um, the configuration file. Um, pretty much the only thing in here you can edit is right inside the plugins LSPDFR folder uh, is the configuration settings. Uh, let's open that up, minimize that. Um, I've already edited this to how I wanted. Um, so uh, yeah, I went through, I just cha uh, changed everything, changed my keys up a little bit. Uh, there's actually one more file we can modify. Uh, we go into car packs right here. It's an X, uh, XML document. Uh, and this is basically just going to set our zones. So like um, each area of the map, uh, Polito Bay, Sandy Shores, Grape Seed is basically like a zone, if you will. And this is going to set up the um, what units will be in a roadblock that spawns in that zone. Um, the zones can overlap. Uh, whatever um, but yeah you set up what units what cars uh, deliveries any extras um, whether it's a van or not if it's a van then uh, it will it can spawn spike strips and what and barriers and whatnot uh, you choose your pedestrians uh, the police models uh, weapons uh, and you can just go down this whole list and modify this but yeah and so you get to like uh, let's see uh, National Office of Security, you can change uh, the police riot, uh, SWAT person, all the, per uh, the weapons they carry, armed forces, if you've changed this, like, uh, where is it? I have somewhere in here my San Andreas Highway Patrol, I just simply changed it to my uh, Texas DPS uh, vehicle, so that way that will spawn. Um, but yeah, that's that, once you do that, you save that. Um, I always like to edit my files before I drag and drop it into my Grand Theft Auto file. So you take all these files and just drag and drop into your Grand Theft Auto file. That simple. I've already got them in there. So, all right. And now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll pause the video and I'll jump back up. Uh, well, actually, I'll run over this uh, PDF file. Um, it's gonna give you a rundown of the default zones. It's gonna give you the key binds that come with it. Uh, the car packs, this kind of kind of explain uh, changing the zones and what vehicles will spawn, what weapons and uh, personnel. Um, yeah, that was going to go over all of that. Uh, this is going to be all the weapon IDs, so if you want to change it, so if you want them to spawn with a minigun, uh, that's the code you need to input. And then they've got the zone IDs, so Hawick, uh, Human Labs, Humane Labs and uh, Research. Yeah, you can change this to anything. Um, and then valid vehicle co uh, colors. Uh, so that way you can change the vehicle, uh, color of the vehicle. All right. So again, I'm going to pause it. I'll hop into the video, uh, the game. I'll get into pursuit. And once we get to a spot where I'm spawning Roblox, I'll uh, start recording again. Uh, see you guys in a moment. Hey guys, so I'm back. I've got a speed pursuit going on. Um, so basically, you're going to use whatever controls you preset to turn on roadblocks or request roadblocks you're going to turn that on so it's going to basically go on a San Andreas State Patrol that's the area, the zone we're in that's what's going to spawn um, and basically if you look up top it's going to tell you the information about it let's go ahead and call some backup units in um, basically they're just going to be scrambling units and it actually takes some time for them to, the units actually come in and set it up. It just doesn't spawn on its own. The units have to come in and spawn. 
um, come in and set it up themselves. Um, and then the you can set it to where uh, levels of rude block, certain level spike strip. Ooh, that guy just got t boned That's. And then I just got rear-ended by my fucking fellow police officer. You fucking... Wow. Now we're both... You got a reverse. Oh my goodness. So yeah. Uh, units are deploying roadblock. I don't know where it is they're deploying. I can't actually see the half of the UI because my uh, recording information is covering it up. Um, scrambling all available units, I'm guessing, is going to say Grapeseed, Blaine County. Um... If we ever do get this pursuit going. Um, yeah. Uh, but again, uh, levels of the roadblock at certain levels, spike strips come in. And this is all, Everything's configurable in the configuration settings. It's this uh, You can pretty much make this your own settings. Uh, it's highly uh, configurable. So yeah, you can do what you need. All right, let's see. Units are deploying roadblock, and yeah, so they just kind of guessing. Let's see if this shows them on the map anywhere. No, it doesn't. Okay, there we go. Now it shows them on a the map. We got a roadblock, and it set which units spawn in it, and then you can set if the units from the roadblock are going to join the pursuit or not. Um, but that's it, and it's got. He's got very good uh, radio settings on here, so it, they came over and said roadblock has been compromised, and now it's going to take another 40 seconds from to scramble another roadblock out. Um, so yeah, this is, this changes the entire dynamics of police pursuits. Um, so you guys can just simply go to town and have fun. Uh, and yeah, highly configurable. You can set what units spawn. You can set what weapons they spawn with. What uniform they spawn in. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a great modification. We've been needing this. Uh, like I had callouts 5 uh, with the roadblocks in it. I, I disabled that. Uh, not the callouts themselves, but I disabled the roadblock. I changed the keybinds to none. Units are deploying. Should have another roadblock here in a moment. Oh, maybe. He's going to turn around, that figures. So we'll go ahead, uh, we'll leave that be. We're going to go up to our roadblock so you guys can get an up close look. It's got a UI on the map. And there you go. This is going to be one of the lower levels. Obviously, if it was a higher level roadblock, it, it, it all depends on the roadway itself and everything. Oh, I don't know what just crashed. More control. Oh, well, screw more control. But yeah, and then if it doesn't work, then oh, they ran me over. If it doesn't work, then they go and join into the pursuit. So yeah, it's a nice call out, and it's definitely been needed. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna include the download link down in the description for you guys. Uh, again, uh, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you.